when we yeah. got there, he gave out orders. Oh. Akasema, these are my guests. Let them, uh, wherever they want to go, guide them. Mm. Tulifunguliwa milango. Oh, sijui kuna pahali watu wamefungiwa, wanaomba, wanafast. Mm -hmm. Mimi, as at now, najua mi naenda heaven. Oh. Mutu tukoshiwa kulingana na isoto. <laughs> <laughs> Wee, nikuna siku nilikuwa kibera. Vile tuna set up tu hivi. Sema kusaraundiwa na gangs. Wakona makabuti from. Nazi, uku ndani, kuna weapons. Lafu umadhiana, sema tuendele tu. You know they're surrounding you. Out of any interview, King Ori. And you did the story and I you brought did. it here. I did. Wow. Oh, eh? uh, did you, do you feel like you need a hug? I know. <laughs> Come, please. Oh, no. Can you do a hug? Tuko family, Tuko how are you family. doing? My name is King Ori Wangeshi, and today is our story. <laughs> today I'm being hosted. By Yvonne. He's on set. Mm. You would think he's the one asking all the questions. But stay tuned. Because stay tuned. This, is, this, this is the day you get sizzling. to know what goes on mm -hmm. behind the scenes Thank as you. we prepare the stories Thank for you. you. Welcome. Karibu. Welcome. Welcome. Come here, I'm going to hear the alcony. Mean shine like a keep in the Kinori Wangeshi. Oui. Yes, Yvonne. Nambi. Sante sana. Mm -hmm. um, kwa kuni host huko kwenu. Niko zuri. I thought wewe ndo kwa unani host, but hey, let's go with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to get to put you on the red seat, the hot seat. Actually, it's jai kalia hiki kiti. Leo ni siku yako. Oh. Maswali ni tafaya moja by moja. Are you ready? Let's do this. <laughs> Guys, my name is Kingori Wangeshi. Uh -huh. I'm sure you know me. If you don't, una kosea, una uh, miss out. you are missing out <laughs> on a lot. Well, and my name is Yvonne Kawira. I'm your host for Tuko Today. Talks. Today, today, I'm hosting Kingori. Such an honor. Me una ukifanya story, mashinani, na una unafanya story, um, all over the country. Inspiration yako ya kutafuta hizi stories ina kuanga gani? Tuanze hapo. Wacha ni kuambie. Mm -hmm. The Bible says. Allah, Apostle. Apostle. <laughs> Wengi hawajui mimi ni Apostle. Uh -huh. <laughs> apostle Kingori. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not the Bible that says. It is us, religi the religious or faithful yeah. people. The religious. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. When you want say, God does not call the qualified. Mm -hmm. He qualifies. The because call. that he calls. Great. So, if you talk about inspiration to do some of these stories, um, it's because we are doing a different kind of journalism. Right. Uh, as we were growing up, studying to be journalists, careers in the media, we knew news to be the only form of information mm -hmm. that you can get from journalism. Uh, you know the inverted pyramid? Yeah. That is doing in India. What, why, mm -hmm. I don't know what not. Students were nailewa. For journalism. Yes. Mm. But now, as things moved about, things changed. In as much as they say that the more things change, the more they remain the same. I wish Nge Kumbuka yon a Greek. We do what we call impactful journalism. Right. So that's the in inspiration. That unaju uke kalia hiki kiti. Uonge na mtu umpe time ajieleze. Mm -hmm there is going to be an impact in their life and in the lives of the people who will watch. True. Either through inspiration, some would get lessons, uh, they will avoid the route that your guest has had taken yeah. and uh, their lives will be much better. Mm -hmm. Pardon my voice. Eh? Mm -hmm. I think, uh, do you have a crew here when you're nice and too much? Have to too much. So mm -hmm. that is the inspiration that the story that you'll do will have an impact. Yeah. And we have so many of them, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'm celebrating my second anniversary here at Tuko. Nice, congratulations. Thank You've you. made such a huge impact. Since the point where you joined this company mm -hmm. and the whole journey for you to just highlight the issues that you've been facing or the issues that have been brought to your attention, 
it's been such an inspirational journey. Thank you so much. Yeah. Of course, I learned from the best. Mm -hmm. I got you here and others. <laughs> Mukan, welcome na mikono miwili. Actually, you siku ni kama nilikula keki. Ala. Siku mbuki vizuri. Mm -hmm. Lakini naona kama kuli. Siku kama ilikuwa ya bado itakuwa nyingine. Ya mm. kuni welcome. But anyway, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I remember the first story I did. Before we, I go to my first story, which yeah. was your first story to do on Tuko YouTube channel. Wow. Well, maybe I should start with the background. I first joined Tuko as an editorial edit, editorial person. Mm -hmm. And what that means is I write stories for the website. The same stories are transferred to all the social media platforms. But three months in, I was moved to the digital broadcast, this, the YouTube channel. And the first story I then handled was one by uh, of Jerry Kabiru. She had gotten married to a man who worked in Rwanda, but the marriage just took a turn for the worst. And she and her small baby had to travel all the way from Rwanda after a failed marriage, which she worked so hard to maintain. She came back crying all the way with no one to look up to. And at that point, she comes to Kenya and decides atakuwa no kota vitu, tires, empty bottles, liquor bottles, and transform them into something beautiful Achia, for home. Yes. Kama hawaja watch you. Ah, ah, kwanza, ni hapo. That's the first story I did. I remember how happy I was for that lady and how she turned her bitterness, her anger, her pain into something beautiful. Can be any more your story. Mm -hmm. Such an inspirational story. At least you were happy with your first interview. <laughs> you were not? I was excited. Allah. It went viral. I remember. Tell us more about it, actually. Um, there was a guy who was running for president. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would go there. I can't well, that was my first interview. Yes, I remember. And he said that uh, we have in Kenya, for those who are not from yeah, the vicinity, the vicinity of let's, Nairobi, yeah, let's catch you up. that there's a road that is, you know, it's the first floor of a road, uh, expressway. Mm. Mm. And he said, now that the government is planting flowers uh, <laughs> along the expressway, he's going to plant bang. None other than Wajakoya himself, himself. professor. Mm -hmm. We had a good time. And by the way, we, Nimi na waon, was the kuangalia. You take your own. Stuck your own, you. As a bob, what town at a fault? God has used to call. Where? Guys, if you go <laughs> to. Where is my camera? If you see that story, the Kingori that did that story, and the Kingori standing right or sitting in front of you today. Those are two different people. Hello and welcome to Tuko Siasa. This is a new segment. It's a political segment where we will discuss and dissect political matters with the political players in Kenya, even as we build up to the general election in August this year. My name is Kimori Wangeshi. This must watch. At Kimbieni Upo. I love Mfanya before and after. There's a meme there. Mm, no. No evil. Mfanya. Aye, time yangu itakuja. Now. By the way, Mbona, you don't change. I don't see you changing. I haven't. I no, have. Not. I have. I really I have. But, but please, anywho. watch an video. <laughs> mm. no. All right. Mm -hmm. Kimuri, you've been stories mingi sana since you joined here and um, tumeona jani yako na tumeona the impact to make through your storytelling skills, through your dedication, through giving people that platform to speak their hearts out. Ni story gani zime stand out. I'm sure I'll really cover all of them that have made an impact. But at least let's go through some of the stories that you remember, you take them by your heart. And mm -hmm. yeah. Sasa hapa itakuwa ni nipe? Ni kupe. Ni kupe. Hala. Nasema moja, mm -hmm. na nipa yako. <laughs> hmm? Hi, let's do this. Uh, of course, this is how you are. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> what made you pick that story though? He was a presidential candidate. Mm -hmm. And I came here to do, actually came here to do politics. Mm, I remember. But along the way, I found myself now uh, Jack of all trades. Yeah, investigation. Ah, let's do this. Yeah. So, so where is how eh? Okay. Before Nyanza easy stories, all of them mm -hmm. are good. But you know, kuna zile zikona wait. Yes. At hapa tumeketi, mm -hmm. tunajua ni nani yako light, na ni nani yako na wait. Tuna, tunaona, <laughs> hata si, eh, tunaona. Mwe mdiki hapo mwene ni nani, msema ni nani, yako na wait. Yako na mashavu. Tunaona. 
inaonekana so, mm-hmm. kuna zile ziko na uh, some weight yeah. some more weight than the others in terms of uh, impact and all that but all in all this is how to interview our jacoya because it was the first one yes. and it went viral uh, i we can actually see na ati wa adi wa leo ukipatana na professor wa jacoya hawezi sahau tuko mhm so abu, it's like we introduced him to the country right and he explained his agenda there mhm eh ivon nitasahau aje interview ya story ya yesu wa tongaren we ukachukua safari moja kwa moja paka bungoma yes nimesikia kuna mtu anajiita yesu na leo by then nita spill some tea here about him i serve some tea yes mimi sasa i don't want to judge ni same here si yesu ama ni yesu yeye ni yesu wa tongaren but now mimi nikiwa kwa njia wakati tuliongea naye kwa simu ako na simu tukiwa kwa njia ananipigia hiyo bi planned akaniambia niende service ndio nione how he does his thing So nikiwa kwa njia ananipigia kuniuliza nimefika wapi I'm like come But on Jesus Jesus <laughs> anafaa kujione <laughs> Where even if utamwambia So you no, got there how was the welcoming When we got know, there how was the whole You know now those are behind the scenes sure. eh, zile wako wana mm. He gave out orders oh. Akasema these are my guests let them uh, wherever they want to go guide them Mm. tulifunguliwa milango oh sijui kuna pahali watu wamefungiwa wanaomba wana fast kuna actually unaona the way una rare chicks ama unapanda wewe sijui kama unapanda mboga mm-hmm. in some space unatoa hizi leo kesho ni zile hivyo ama chicks yeah, za yeah, these yeah. weeks zinaenda hivyo ndivyo watu wanafanya huko levels Wana, yeah. mm-hmm. the, 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 kuna wale wana fast this week kuna wale wanamalizia wengine wanaingia hivyo mm-hmm. so walikuwa na hizo rooms we went round everywhere mpaka pale eh, kwa altar hapo of course hatukwenda pale mbele ya mm-hmm. saba tutaki kufanya hivyo mm-hmm. but alitufungulia uh, again we introduced him to the country i remember yes. talking about tuko mm-hmm. trends pale pale ukitajwa tu na tuko ni hivyo Your name is out there and he knows to and after that after we did that interview uh, other media houses now started getting attention uh, they, they went back yes now to look at this man who has been introduced by Tuko as Yesu wa Tongaren ni nini ilikuwa <laughs> surprise the most uko ngoja kwanza unajua hizi vitu ni zile hatuonyeshangi kwa kwa camera by the way mm. sisa mimi nimekubaliana pana camera person wangu anaitwa Shiro tunaenda wapi Bungoma. Bungoma. Shiro na katruza kake ka jeans, dreadi. Mhm. Eh hizi kucha. Na kucha huyo msana anazi. Wewe? Hizi mnafanyanga. Eh, hizi ni kondefu mpaka ini huko. Ni sawa. Before niende kwa story, unajua ni kuna story bingi na story. Eh. Yeah. There's a reason God hakupea, hakuwapea ndevu nyinyi. Tungefanya nini nazo? Jumka kwa mnanyo alafu mna choro sasa. Sorry. My point is Shiro oh, alikuwa yeah. amevaa eh, nikuva mnafanya mm, nini? Mnakuva tu. Alikuwa mistick. Kucha zilikuwa zinatoshana hadi. Zilikuwa, zilikuwa zinatoshana hivi. <laughs> Naendi ya kamera person. <clears throat> Kuingia tu hivi. Shiro akadungwa leso na wamama. Mm. Hawezi ingia kwa nyumba ya Yesu hivi. Hapo na hapo samo ni ka change. Mm. Ah wewe kama umevaa kama huyu msichana sasa ni kamera person. How tanda heaven? So of course huyu mtu amekondemiwa sasa. No 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 no. Uh-huh. Mimi as at now najua mimi naenda heaven. Oh. Mtu tuko shiwa kulingana na hiyo. <laughs> <laughs> Kwenye naenda <laughs> Kwenye haendi. Tutaelekea picha hiyo uh-huh. director hapo mlioni. Mtu haendi heaven uh-huh. kulingana na Yesu. Atongane. Na unajua amechagua watu wake. Eh. Hai mambo ni mengi. But it was an interesting story tafadhali. Kama hujawatch. <laughs> Kimbieni hapo moyo. Kimbia uone. So Umenikumbusha. Tutamwekea picha ya Shiro wewe. Lazima tuweke picha ya Shiro hapo director. Na akiwa na leso, mm-hmm. niko nayo. Itawekwa hapa. Huyo msichana amejionea maajabu. Mm-hmm. Which was your most memorable story? We, unajua umeongea story ya Yesu wa Tongaren? Ah, wewe kwanza tu pesto. Ukanikumbusha. Tupea huyu mtu alipiga Yesu picha. We, Guys kuna madam fulani ni Catholic nun. Uh, a few years ago kama 20 years ago 
eh, 20 35 years ago chatu sisememe time jiskumbuki but alianza kupata visions na strange voices zinakuja kwa room yake when she was sleeping kule room mm. na every time anaambia mtu i can see things i can hear things wanamwambia we una hallucinate wewe hakuna kitu unaona what's and she was convinced so akaambiwa next time unaona hizi vitu una claim kuona shika kamera take a photo take yeah, a picture yeah, na sitamaliza history because i want you to run there and watch it find out whether she did take that picture what happened with that camera what happened to her and what conversations happened between the two because history nayo hey people have seen things lakini kingori pia hii imenikumbusha story fulani tulikuwa malindi na wewe mm -hmm. a few a few months back no? last year last year mm, Wee, tukafunga safari sorry. tuko in mombasa mm -hmm. tukafika kwa geti ya mtu fulani mm -hmm. famous na ulikuwa umepasu story ya mtu fulani famous mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> tukakataa tukakata tukapiga tuka masi masimu Wee. Mm -hmm. Tukafrisikio tukashukishwa kwa gari tukatolewa hapo nje. Tu... Kingori tuambie hiyo story. <laughs> By the way, Malindi. I think I need to go back there. Sasa hatukuwa na time nzuri. Hatukuwa. Pia tuliambush. Watu bado hawaja understand mm. na hawajaelewa vizuri Pastor Ezekiel Odero. Yeah. One new life. So we need to come and have a sit down with him. No, no, we need to go. We to need to find church. him and go back. Hey, Ivon nilikuona alikuita pale mbele akasema Kawira. Eh, Kawira. In fact, Ma, take a clip. My daughter Ivon mm. kama sijasahau. Yeah. Mr. Kingori kama sijasahau. Ivon na wale wengine nimesahau. Hey. By the way, okay, now something about <laughs> Pastor Ezekiel is his voice. He has yes, such a commanding voice. Presence. Alafu sasa akipewa microphone Misi juu kama wameziongeza base ama ni, but no cuz he came here in Nairobi mm. eh, maximum miracle it was the, the same no it was the same the words he used on that clip see umesema mtaka tafuta hiyo clip tulipelekwa mpaka pale kwa pulpit and he said ma apostle and to... my daughter tuko tuko. Yvonne, <laughs> kama sija sahau he has such a commanding voice simamisho pale mbele okay i don't know but me story ya church kokuwa Eight acres, it has never left my mind. Ati watu wanaka six acres. Hey. Yani, unaeza toka east side ya church, uende the other side In na bike. In fact, bike. you don't see the end of that yeah. church. Nani church ya mtu moja? Yeah. Na imeja? But I thank God, wakati alienda senate, alisema, sita wadanganya, sadaka na yo na ukota. Ile ni ukweli peupi. Tulienda enda wone yo interview nye tulifanya na ni fupi but. Ni fupi kwa sababu we had gone to book for an interview mm. and like for an appointment to host him and familiarize ourselves. Ebu ende ni mwaj because kuna vitu interesting hapo tuliona na tulisikia ambazo I still want to go back. Okay, you also want Your to. story ni pending. Mm. But yo, in the Friday yo interview. Mm. In yes. And tell us who else you think we should go and visit. Kwa sababu sisi na sisi tukwa hapa. Kuleta udaku. Vile tu iku. Ivone. Nyambie. Ni story zangu unaita udaku. <laughs> Wena mpono una, una fishingi for such peculiar stories. Nini na kuta upanga uko. But that's why we are here. We are True. We bring different. out what normal yeah. media houses won't bring you. You do stuff to nakuleta. You know. Now. Mm -hmm. I have an uncle who tells me mm -hmm. that Tuko gives angles that uh, mainstream media does not. Yeah, you won't see such stories. If he wants to see a story, in fact, tunaona kwa wakati tuseme kuna national events. Yeah. Ama kitu may happen. Akitaka kujua kitu tofauti, ataingia Tuko. Tuko. Because there are so many different angles and we must also appreciate our editors. Yes, yes. yes. Manze, hapa, work, hapa wako sawa. Yeah, they work so hard. Mm. Sasa, mm -hmm. kuna story ni mekumbuka. E, ilikuwa yala. Ehe, nilijoin hiyo trip. Mm -hmm. Where? Nilijoin hiyo trip. You guys. Nishtuka. <laughs> Nisiji kama nilikuwa ready for what yeah. happened. Nobody was ready. Nobody was ready. We just guys, just run. Wa, chilling tales of Rivayala. Yes. 
Hii hey, kinguri pia nilikuogopa hapo. Uko ni wapi uko unafanyia PTC? Hello and welcome. My name is Kingori Wangeshi. This is a special coverage of Tuko Reports. We've traveled all the way from Nairobi to Siaya County, a place called Yala because of one thing. River Yala. Okay, tena please. Okay, nataka <laughs> waende wa watch <laughs> lakini huyo mtu anaongea hapo na introduce sio <laughs> mimi. <laughs> <laughs> watu wametoka we thank god for his graces we watu wametoka mbali natoka mbali and we, we, are, we appreciate the far we've come mm. but tafadhali huyo mtu sio mimi <laughs> sio kingori na mtu aspiga screen shot akakuja kuweka kwa kuna sio mimi kuna unlimited kwa hii conversation enda tufanya it hey, hey, hey. the you know it stands out for me because the things that guy told us yeah. and the pictures he when, showed us when the government changed it came out to be true mm ile manu yote tuliambua kwa hiyo story it came out to be it's like we were predicting yeah. what was like happening mm -hmm. at you there was a killer squad in the police it service yeah. oh iko bite iko hapo ya mtu fulani wa human human rights akisema we hear there is a squad in the police that does these mm -hmm. things because names of police officers keep coming up same names because mm -hmm. we believe maybe there is that killing squad that kill is eliminating people uh, because there are names of police that ca continue coming up the same same names no one uh, should be killed uh, because of uh, they are criminals for example or because of uh, or whatever things that we are doing everyone need to be taken to court and the the the, the justice take it course uh, for uh, even the victims to get justice my friend Where? william ruto takes over the government he disbands uh, a squad, squad apparently yeah. that is what that squad was doing remember the guy we got in yala who was telling us the, the retriever and it was Hii na kunasahau jina. Siro Gugu yuko. Okite. Anaitwa Okite kama si Kosei. Okite. Okay. Mm. Anatuambia magari yalikuwa yanakuja usiku wakati wa kafi. Na si gari ya TV hivi. Mm. Mm -mm. So, hawa lazima wakuwe ni watu wako na na authority, na influence. Yeah. Ni akina nani? It turns out Devo. to be mm -hmm. in the police service. Wewe. Sasa I okay, I was sad for the families that were affected. But again, uh it mesmerized me or fascinated me that the things i had came out to be true Zilukua later tru, mm -hmm. if you've not watched the chilling tales of eh, rivayana run. please go and that's such a beautiful story because vitu zenye watu families wame suffer because mm. of such killings at least walipata closure through mm. that documentary because Normally, you scare to mtu amenda missing and that's the end of the story. Mm -hmm. But now Kingori gets to sit with the families. Go to that video and watch hey. it. You understand the pain the, these people live with. Unanichocha. Umenikumbusha? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, acha nikurudishe Mombasa. Pale kwa slang flani. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Mi hata, we. Tukafunga safari vizuri. The whole team, we were... How many About men? About five. Yes, five. Four men and myself. And two ladies. <laughs> hey! Tukafika big up, love. big up to Yvonne. Yvonne Mombasa team mm. and Yvonne Nairobi team. We were such a great team. Na kumbuka tukifika kwa hiyo slam and how everyone knows everyone. So wageni definitely wana stand out. Kuko mgeni. Kuna mgeni na anakaa kwa na equipment. Na hizi equipment zinakaa ni expensive. Na wako, na wako, yani, wako maji. High on everything you can think of. Anything drugs zile za kudunga kila kitu halafu wana wasaround hapo kuna wenye wanalia man unajua kuna mmoja alikuwa anataka kurudi naye Nairobi lakini si yeye alikuwa anataka ni hizo vitu zikuwa zinamshuka hizo zinamwambia aki alikataa kwenda Nairobi alitufuata mpaka kwenye tulikuwa tumepark mm. but guys eh hey, muende mo chio story because i think wako na reasons walitupatia some of the reasons wali end up kwa situation kama hiyo Maybe mtu anaweza relate now and maybe someone can feel the need to change their lives and can be any hapo that what was the title of that story um our uh, our 
uh, drugs are our breakfast. Mm. Mm. Kama really was, drugs are our breakfast. Mm. Most importantly and interestingly is that these people wanaongea vile tunaongea. Ni watu wamesoma. Eh hey, by the way. I was shocked. With degrees, diplomas, and masters. certificates, masters. But they're wasting in drugs yeah. in Mombasa. I think to now feel the youth because if nothing is done, so easy about such situations and such stories and this is why we bring these stories. Unajua tutaenda kukua na such documentaries from different parts of the country. Mm -hmm. How bad will that be? Crime it escalate mbaka. Mbaka yani? Jupiter. <laughs> There's a question that I often meet yeah. on the comment section mm. uh, on the links that I share and I'll post that question to you before yeah. I answer. Mm -hmm. You do encounter people who have gone through so many things especially through your two cotots. Hata mimi nasema ngaheri mimi nafanya too much story. Utaki kuweza kwa red system. Two cotots is traumatic. People go through heavy yeah. stuff. Mm. How do you deal with that? When when everybody's coming to you, if one today is listening to this story, tomorrow she's listening to the other story and all of them if they are they're heavy, they are sad. And How you do you know deal with at that? At some point you have to be involved You're in human. the storytelling yeah. kwa sababu mimi ujipeleka kwa uko kwa village kwa hiyo bush kwa hiyo in that scene as it happens mm -hmm. it's a lot of course it not affect emotionally of, of course you feel the need to go that extra mile and and see how best you can alleviate this pain of your guest um ni ngumu ku separate work na emotions. na emotions when it comes to that and i think we little lifunzo journalism i'm sure pia wewe when you those days tulikuwa tukisoma <laughs> tulemboa you're not supposed to be part of the story now you are now you are even you when you go to do these stories like in atongaren you actually have to sit and understand okay ndio ufike hapa how how are you arriving at this point mm -hmm. so um i think a time has come where storytelling Ime, the landscape you're storytelling has evolved. Na saizi people want to see things that make an impact, things that people don't no, usually talk about. How do I deal with them? Uh, I talk to people like you. Ivo na kuangi serious apa kwa ofisi. Aki watendi kuli chome, unani chome. Mi kwa mtu serious sana. And na I I thank God kasa wabu na penda kuni entertain. You make fun of me the oh, entire oh, thank time. You. <laughs> <laughs> they, they make office hours fun hours. Actually, it plays see, in see, see, fun. See, see, see. <laughs> I think <laughs> Tuko team qualification much. But if you apply for a job Please, here at Tuko, this is a tip. In uh, fact, come on, unafanya ki to stop doing anything you're doing. Now listen. Now. This if is you want point. to get a job at Tuko, mm -hmm. number one. Kuna qualifications ngapi by the way? Number one, <laughs> you must be funny. <laughs> funny. Na how catch feelings? How catch feelings? Cuz you nayo. Ah 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 kwanza kuna watu kwa he. Aki usitaje majina Staki kini. Usitaje majina hey, lakini. Usikuwe mtu wa catch feelings. Yes. Ukuwe mtu wa mtu joyous, mtu wa na yes. furahia. Ah kuna I watu wamekuja hapa uh -huh. walikuwa anga tu hivi. Hey. Lakini you guys unamuona? Unamuona. <laughs> lakini ameshachanga. Sana mtangushia mabom kwa group. Bas. In fact tuweke photo hiyo demo hapa. Mm. Alikuja tu na alikuwa mpol if you see her mm. and she's doing an amazing job oh, on the Tuko she's, extra she's channel the youngest baby and she's so much fun if you see her outside of the cameras ah uh, mtafurahia mtafurahia mtamupenda i think that is one way yeah. to deal with what we get yes i agree talking to you guys platform. making fun kuongea tu inasaidia because you don't bottle up oh oh you must be savage yes must be savage. Yeah, ukunai. If you're not, you're taught to do it. You're taught. <laughs> In fact, una learn to on the job. You hit the ground running. The other thing is pure so under counseling when when needs arises, when the need arises, we ukiona imefika too much, you, you go for the brief. Yes, the company organizes for that. So at least uh, we're not badly off. Mm -hmm. We can't complain. Well, mm -hmm. thank you. How do you deal with the stories then? Will someone tell you after me? <laughs> Number one, mm -hmm. there's something that that I I rest my back on. Yeah. And that is the impact that story will have, the support True. that our audience shows to the people that we host. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes me joyous to know that yes, whatever you're going through, mm -hmm. 
is very difficult, even at this moment. Yeah. The burden is so heavy. But the moment you share it with our audience, Tuko family is an amazing oh, family. True. The next time I see you, a totally different person. Totally different. So unakuja kuona kumbe them sharing their story, them being vulnerable was yes. not in vain. It wasn't in vain. It encourages people. Yes. True. So even next time when I know I meet such a heavy story uh, emotionally, I know, you know what? It You're will change. It will get better. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. What's the um, saddest story you've done? Well, very many, mm -hmm. but there's one that mukaenda kwa comment section mukasema apa kingori ya melia. Ah, mukumbuka the crying host. Na kumbi yeye si kusasa pondo savi zili ku anyhow it's okay. Tuendele. That story, I'll tie it with another one. Yeah. But it was so painful when you sit with a person and tells you thank you for giving me this honor. Even right now, when I think about those words, my eyes tear. It's that young man called Michael. He is a sickle cell anemia yeah. patient. Me, I knew I was waiting for death. So could you one day I will sit here talking about my life. I was waiting just down there. I was waiting just down there. Please, if anything happens, I was waiting for death. I'm an admit to you, please don't abandon me. When we were doing the interview, he had given up. Yeah. He had said that his days on earth yeah. are yeah. over. Mm. Like he felt that this is the end. So when he tells you that thank you for giving me this honor to do this last interview on earth before I leave, that one hit me different. Mm. I, I mean, no matter how strong you are, when somebody tells you that and you can see that he is in pain, mm. You, I mean, it gets into you. True. So, that is the saddest. Uh, I would say one off because yes, I've covered several. Mm -hmm. And the other one was we did it recently. Uh, it is one of the most impactful stories that we have done. Uh, also a sickle cell anemia mm -hmm. patient, though he calls himself a, a champion. He, he's so much in pain for the last 26 years, he has been in pain. So he gets to a point and says, I don't want to live anymore. And he can't find it. The, the process or the procedure he wanted is not legal in the country. Mm -hmm. So he finds an alternative in a different country. He wanted to sleep forever. And as we were doing the interview, he told me of his surprise. He's called Joe Mudukiza. I'm sure you well, know him right now. Yeah, it's because all over the mm, now. Mm. He was surprised that there was money to facilitate his procedure to go and sleep forever. But There's no money. there was not even a third of that money to help him at least manage the condition. Let's get this clear, Joe, that the amount you would require mm. to manage your condition locally, mm. going to hospital daily mm. for one year, mm. they are willing to give you three times to go there and do mass killing. Yes, yes, assisted killing. We thank God that today he changed. He has changed his mind because again mm -hmm. of the overwhelming support, both financially, emotionally, and I don't know which other way lay, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> that he has gotten from the people that we shared. I mean, our audience, Tuko family. You are an amazing family. Camera, ni ni he, ni he. Indio na tuona sisi watu wili. <laughs> we don't okay. usually do this. Ha, mimi si yonagi kamera, ni leo na ziona. <laughs> <laughs> Tuko family, you're an amazing family. Ah, you guys. Uh, because of the support that you show our guests. Yeah. We totally appreciate You change lives, basically. You transform them. The last one, the mm -hmm. saddest, was of a 17-year-old girl who was taking care of her sick dad. Mm -hmm. Imagine, at 17, you changing your, your life. Imagine. 
you're changing your dad diapers. That's Can you imagine? Yeah. That was very, very sad. But again, as we speak, she's in college. Nice. Things changed. I'll mention a few. Mm -hmm. I have remembered of a lady who landed from Saudi with stage four cancer. We went all the way to Nkubo with Nkubo is Nkubo. Meru. Meru County. Now to come Patakule, the lady had no food. I don't know for how long. Now how long she had stayed without cooking even. Uko serious sana. Niko serious. New story na niki. Please ma hapa kuna. Hapa kuna story na niki sadness because na kumbuka kilipofika. Even though she was smiling, even though she was happy to see us, uno natu koma chake akona pain. Na pain ina toka na na past yake the fact that family yake where she grew up alipata mama ke got married into that family akiwa na yeye so technically ha belong kwa yu family so of course your rejection when your parents die of course is a too drama mingi and then you go look for work abroad then you come back you have nothing na kwa pa sickness tukafanya yu story but i remember one day she calls me I think you should just go and watch <laughs> the initial <laughs> video because <laughs> I think that lady is so, so, so prayerful. I'll change life. I'll finally stop to complain about small inconveniences. You know, how at Ikuna traffic, you're here feeling as though the world has stopped and someone has a whole world mm -hmm. on their shoulders. Nobody was thankful. That thing ch changed my life. Now, she called me one day and said, after the interview we did on Tuko, do you know somebody called her, took her through chemo, paid for everything? Then, that was not even enough. They built her a house. What do you mean? Fully furnished. In fact, to our post is a picture. Hmm? Squeezy, kagendo akingia kweyo nyumba, randomly tu wata nipigeni ambia unajono nakana dream. Siamini, kawera, no nankana dream. Kwa natoka Saudia, nikijua na inlekea. She was done. That was the end. Now look. We change lives, but it's not even us. Mm -hmm. It's the Tuko family. It's an it amazing platform. These people. I, I, I am. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, yeah. but let me reply here. Mm. Alisema Tuko is blessed to have you. But you know what? I also feel blessed to be to have to be in Tuko. Mm. Oh, we are blessed to have each other. Yes. <laughs> I'm blessed to be a Tuko. Tuko is blessed to have you, which is true. Because and I'm blessed to be a Tuko. Yeah. It goes both With, ways. Without this platform, I don't get changed. It's our lives. I don't feel mm. gratefulness. We are so grateful for the fact that Tuko Hapa could highlight his story. Tuko Wapi? Hapa Tuko. <laughs> <laughs> Tuko Hapa Tuko mm -hmm. to change lives. Mm. And for people to also, you know, make an impact kwa his stories in it in a letter. Mm-hmm. Kwa jaki dogo. Ala. Naona yu nataka kumshoot mwazi. Siju tuwe ndiki tuwa. What do you want to ask me? Nataka kuuliza. Ni memo ilitoka tukambio tu vaya black and white ama na mnagani. Kwa za sisa tu ni green tu nilikuwa na misa kwa tu. Hii tu. <laughs> God is good. Nimekumbuka, nime, nime kuuliza hivu kwa sababu. Kwa hizi stories naeza kuwa sad. But mm. kuna zingine. Uh, the guest would tell it in a very humorous way. Yes. <laughs> Kuna moja na kumbuka <laughs> na Ivasha. Aki kinguri. Apo ndu tenu. Anaitua, wacha ni confirm jina vizuri. Anaitua Anne Nyanjogu. I think she was voted to be the best storyteller. Because watu walikuwa, yani literally, kwa comment section, watu wamejaza mm. vicheko hapo. Mm. Ati uu, she can tell the story, oh, she is a good storyteller, funny storyteller. If you've not watched Anne Nyanjogo. What was the title the of the story? I can't remember the title, but the story was about, mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, I will remember, she used to share her husband with her mother. Oh, no. You see? The story is shocking. It's really shocking. Mm -hmm. But the way she tells it, uh -huh. you'll even forget, the, okay, that it's, it's shocking. Yeah. Yes. So just go and type. I used to share my husband with my mom on Tuko. Ah, utafurahia. Mm-hmm. Kia wewe utafurahia. Nikaleta lawyer mm. kwa studio. Mm-hmm. Wakili. 
kwa wakili mzima. Mm -hmm. Mwendi kumbusha storytelling ni kakumbuka huyo wakili. <laughs> He's an interesting character kwa sababu. Akona condition that he has lived with all his life. Lakini he didn't know earlier on that this condition was so severe that he needed medication for the rest of his life. Uh, what stood out for me is what this condition would make him do. I won't even spill the beans. Go to that channel, Tuko Channel TV, and see the video. It's by Ocheng. His name is Ocheng. Uh, and the title is I Have the Lawyer with 30 Failed Relationships. 31? 31, 2, 3, 30 failed relationships. Ah, uh, uyo sasa. Hey, uyo sasa. Akona T. <laughs> Ndiye anafulfill. You have to kiss. A thousand frogs. Ame bakisha ngapi sasa? Akona 970. Nimefanya story that is interesting. Na ni kwa sababu ya vitu zenye watu wako willing ku disclose vitu wamefanya. Ah, kwanza wewe tunakupeaka jina hapa. <laughs> Yvonne. We? Atu. Atu. Nisi wata, nisi wambia? Yvonne story na husiano na... A witchcraft. <laughs> if one story in Ausiana na dark world, mm -hmm. spiritual, spiritual warfare, warfare and devil satan. You remember the story of the lady who served the devil like for, for 18 years? Yes. Kim Benim watch your video because even her, she's an interesting character and she says exactly what she did, how she ended up there. Kim Benim, it is called 18 years with Lucifer. How Ogopangi? Si Ogopangi. The blood of Jesus. Well, let me tell you now watching some of your stories. Kuna mwingine pia alituambia alienda ku seek services za mchawi for fame, wealth, influence, power. Lakini sasa, okay, alipata hizo vitu, but pia sasa something else happened while she was busy looking for those things. Are you going to tell us? This same mchawi did something. Now, do you want me to tell you now or do you want to go and watch it? Okay. Now, nimiona Kenya unataka. This was really quite interesting. Some of the most interesting things I have done ni kuketi na watu wako willing ku tell the darkest of the darkest secrets zenye. I think most people would prefer to die with those. But mtu wanakuja na kuambia zile vitu. Alafu wa to judge sisi. I mean, ni pati yako, ni story yako. Tell it as you want. Yeah, mm-hmm. What's the craziest story you've done? The craziest? Mm. Huh. <laughs> the craziest is that story of a man with uh, seven wives. Oh, yes. There are seven wives, seven wives and, and, eight and eight concubines. What's his name? Alikuwa was King Solomon of Nibungoma. Yes. Is Bungoma. Yeah, Bungoma kuni kama. Nukulize. How wives, do they all know each other? Tuanzi hapo. Okay. Plus the concubines. Do they all know each other? How's the context? Now, okay. Ni kama, ni kama mimi, ni kona bibi. Lakini uyo bibi anajua kuna another wife in waiting. Does that keep me in check as the wife so that this other waiting she does not join? No, atakuja na kue bibi. Na iye pia anajua kuna in waiting. Okay. Oh, oh. Eh, na wanafurahi, na wanasema wamesha. In fact, sasa tukifanya interview walikuwa wanasema, wanadu kwa sababu pia watoto walikuwa hapo ni, eh, kuna watoto wengi, karibu mia wewe. Kazi ya mefanya. He's a busy guy. He's very busy. Hey, 15, najua kwa mwezi tuko 30 days, eh. Na kingori, naswali ulimuliza, inye, nataka kuliza ni jue kamo, oke. Did he tell you how he manages how he serves? Yes. How he serves. I was trying to look for the best words, the most. In mm. fact, my baby ndio wali nijibu. Ah. Naka nambia sisi, we don't, atuna timetable. Mm -mm. Akisikia leo, wanaikuwa na jita majina ya machungwa, ah, miti. Mm -hmm. Ya matunda. Mm -hmm. Wakisikia leo ni mparachichi, <laughs> kisikia kesho ni kwa machungwa, <laughs> kesho ni kwa maavokado. Allah. He, the be. choice is his. He's the king of the kingdom. Well, that was crazy. I'd be interested to find out how they maintain. Akuna wivu, akuna anything. Ah, Kimbeni Pali. Kimbeni Pali. What's the title of this story? 
15 when the two type 15 wives kwa tuko 15 wives tuko takuletea yeah yako crazy nilikuwa gani hiyo ya mchawi oh ya mchawi ehe you tumezungumzia several stories crazy eh funny heartbreaking the most outstanding lakini it's not been a rosy wanasema a bed of roses yes Okay let's not talk about beds. Well, it's not been because we talk about the story to Ngare. Yeah yeah we yeah, yeah, King Solomon. King Solomon. <laughs> to see beds are yeah. <coughs> anyway. Extend this thing. Wewe kuna siku nilikuwa Kibera tulikuwa na Shiro. Ina e, Shiro anatajwa sana. Hata anatajwa camera person mwingine. Kuna kuna camera wawili na eh Shiro amekapitia. <laughs> tulikuwa Kibera mm -hmm. kushoot story ya madam fulani she had been abandoned by her husband with a small baby like a three days baby three day old baby uh, but we tukaenda Kibera tukapaka gari mahali so the point was kuteremka mpaka kwa nyumba yake which ni vichochoro like you have to jump things things vile tuna set up to hivi sijui ilikuwa oh actually we got someone kwa ground kutupeleka kule these are some of the things hamta why ona kwa mm. video mnasikia tu story hamjui how did we get in this person's house how what did we have to do to set up huko anyhow tukatafuta mtu wa local mwenye anajua area vizuri akatwambia it's it's okay we can go and we had to pay him a bit here and there tukafika he didn't think it was that deep over of a, of a place off the main road tukafika mahali akatuambia mpaka hapa this is where my jurisdiction ends hmm. jurisdiction this is where my forte ends like beyond hapa kuna timu nyingine utake over like it, kuna it's a different neighborhood it's a different different people are in charge on this other end but twende tu the mother was confident anasema wananijua mimi ni resident tuko sawa twende sawa uko safe sawa tukateremka the moment tunafika kwa nyumba huu mama tuna set up sema kusurroundiwa na gangs wako na makabuti from lazima huko ndani kuna weapons si tuko hapo mm. wanatuambia hapa sisi tuna charge Seki for security we are charging hapa na tumeacha simu yani hata sisi ni wanani tuleta kila kitu kwa gari so tuko tu na just the equipment ana tulipisha was it 3000 for security na for security makio ni by force it's not that you need build. security you need and you need it from us and we are, this is how much <coughs> we are charging for it na it's either that ama pia to side ya kubeba hizo equipment na si kupeleka kwa gari ah ah bas where to come be a pesa kuko kwa gari can we go back they want to help us carry this equipment hatutaki kwa ujui hata atapitaje where miss jay panikivo shiro akafikiria very fast akachukua cutaways za nyumba ya huyo wa madam i think you will notice mahali cutaways ilifanywa na mahali the actual interview ilifanywa at two different places tuli have gone doctor after place ingine and we had to pay utatupeleka class ya kujua cutaways ni nini lakini na si kila mtu anacha hapa leo i have never been that scared in my life that sounds scary watu wamevaa makabuti na maoni. Kuna hawafichi by then wana kusurround. Alafu huma then anasema tuendelee tu. You know they're surrounding you. Hautafanya hiyo interview kingori. And you did the story and I you brought did. it here. I did. Wow. Okay. I think I think hapo ndio sasa. Did you do feel like you need a hug? I know. <laughs> oh, please. Oh. Can you know <laughs> Eh, but this is the fun of working here kwa sababu some of these things nikikuja ni sema vitu kama hizo kwa ofisi mm. people try to lighten up lighten up you see it's not your back your life you we well, now we know mm. next time now we know it's a lesson learned what was the most scary story of that ah not scary and i could make it through the mm -hmm. uh, it's now the challenges yeah, that yeah, we don't yeah. usually show sure, sure. unaenda kufanya interview Eh, unaona huyu mtu anakuambia hawajakula. Yes. Ako na watoto. So maybe pia wako na njaa. Unajua watoto waliambiwa kuna mtu anakuja. Hawajui you're a journalist, yeah. you're there to highlight their story. Mm. They are there with their inno, in their innocence. Wengine hata wanalia because they are hungry. Yeah. So you now have to of course the office facilitates. Yeah. Uh, the Tuko family through Patreon. Mm wana saidia at least uki, uki, ukiona the situation is too bad 
unawanunulia kitu ya kukula kabla mm -hmm. atamweze kufanya interview mm -hmm. because you can't the situation is too bad so appreciate the little that you have and if you can share with your neighbor please do because it's 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 bad that you before an, inafanya ngata nikifanya interview i don't know really heavy but yeah. after to share a publish story ah they get food not just food they get food they get yeah. clothes shelter. shelter it's a lot yes and the kids go to school na kumbuka kuna madam nili interview and I'll just go back to that story kwa sababu ile ni touch she got fistula because of an abuse she went through a harrowing harrowing experience na hakuwa na food and of course we called the office and the facilitated but then a few days later ananiambia amepigiwa simu na a whole hospital they want to do surgery mm -hmm. for free mm -hmm. and i remember a word she told me ati maisha yangu yote sijawahi geuka hivi na kwa kwa simu nikigeuka hivi food nikigeuka hivi food yani hiyo ni big deal kwake it's to kwa family it's such a big deal for because kenyans walikuja wakamletea chakula manguo then that's the condition was fixed now she's okay she also got her business um, her business set up sai sio mtu maisha yake imebadilika 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 hizo ndio vitu zinafanya every time yeah to encourage kuleta hizi stories again and again and again tuambie some of the things you would want us to bring to your mm, show actually yes uh, juzi nimesikia hapa mkisema mm. in that vein sijaisikia hiyo okay. but anyway in that vein mm -hmm. well in that vein if you have a story that you would like us to tell yes. if you'd like to tell your story through tuko mm -hmm. please feel free we have emails we have a number by the way you know mm -hmm. there is a way that you also Uh, send out that request kuna watu mm -hmm. wana send request but they don't leave their contact yes 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 it's very important to request ukitu, yes ukiti request to fanya story yako ukitu request to fanya story yako kuna number watu utuma their um, requests acha ni pata hiyo number size yeah whatsapp it's a whatsapp number mm. 0115 10640. Hiyo ndio namba. Please mm -hmm. ukituandikia ukichoose kuandika email kwa sababu unajua ukitext hizi namba tutapata namba yako. But if you send an email usisahau kuacha namba yako pale mm. chini kwa sababu sasa how do we engage you? Mm. And then maybe sometimes to respond to that email. I love you take time. Uh, I know what 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 what, mm. what some do. Mm. Wanaenda kwa cyber wanakuandikia story yao. Oh. I love when ajacha namba. Yeah. So sasa by the time una reply kwa email. Uh, sasa ikienda kwa mtu wa cyber sasa. Ye yeah, hajui. Yes. Wacha contact yako hapo. Eh sema tu this ukiandika email andika tu pale chini mm -hmm. Kingori Wangeshi 07. Yee unataka kupeana namba yako? Kuna question yako. Kwani liko wangewe kweli pia hapa tena? Tuachie hapo. Tuachie. Tunaonanga pale kwa comment section. <laughs> Tutawanika siku moja lakini for now we love you all. We love yes. you guys. Mnafanyanga kazi yetu fun, mnafanyanga kazi yetu interesting mnasaidia guests wetu we are so so grateful atutai choka kusema thank you kwa sababu lives is in a change because of each and every one of you my email address here at tuko is kingori.wangechi at tuko.co.ke mine is ivon.kawira at tuko.co.ke because we are tuko.co.ke <laughs> yeah. 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 and by the way uh -huh. we are getting to a milestone Guys, milestone oh, yeah. 2024 is a big year for us ah, you want to announce it <laughs> yeah, i think we can do it together yes guys we are in take my key yeah? we are on our way to 1 million subscribers, subscribers. Do you want to be part of the numbers that make us get to that number? Please subscribe to our channel. It's iko to hapo like, share, comment. And if you imagine, if you yet I could post anything, click but to appreciate sana mm. ukikuwa part of this milestone, ukikuwa part of this journey and we will be so grateful. Please not. Ni gani? Ni hii hapa. Kinuri wangu. Ah, nataka tu address tukiwa na wewe. Ni hii. Yes. Please not. We do not charge to do your story 
at all. At all. It's free, completely free. And free of mm -hmm. charge. Ukipatana na mtu anakuambia nipe 1500 ati nikuconnect. Nikuconnect na watu watuko. Ah hiyo imeenda. Wewe piga tu hiyo namba tumepatia mm. na uripoti your staff up. Hiyo mm. hiyo imeenda. Sucks. We don't charge. Likewise, we don't pay For to stories. do your story. It's <laughs> been important sana. Yes. We? Mm. Yes, and uh, as we wrap up ne, na furai sana because me work. Na mimi particularly kwa jamii yangu ya ku letter stories kwa channel through all these years tuzidi tuendelee ku grow tuendelee kusaidia watu tuendelee kucheka kufurahi ku celebrate tuzidi this is a big year for us so this is interesting how to wanangi tukiwa pamoja tukicheza kazini our bosses will see this okay, so. <laughs> thank you very much Yvonne. thank you kingori now what, what are been? we doing yeah. okay guys bye okay. 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 Okay